We're going to show you how to do an extractor. Welcome to this channel, Upscale Look, Detailing. And we're going to show you how to do this invention that I did, which other people I think have done it, but this one is better because right now we're in July 2001 and they have this special going on where you could get this vacuum with for free they give you the $40 detailing kit right so right here we got the vacuum I'm gonna try to put it up here for you guys to make it easier for you guys to look I'll bring the camera closer soon once I put everything up here figure it out so what we got here is an Amazon um, set up here with this um, it's like uh, what you, this is this is the most important part of the whole extraction um, project that I did here, and this is what it looks like. Flexilla holes. This is a uh, what is it? This is not the the three eighths. This is the cord. I think it's the quarter. All right. So we got the flexilla holes. You could get all kinds of dimensions, you know, a thickness of holes. You get the three eighths. You can do whatever you want, but this is the most important part of the whole extraction setup. Um, you got to get all these fittings and well, this is this comes with it, but you got to get this fitting right here. Some people put a quick di disconnect right here, but I don't like to do that because it gets in the way, you know, of the whole. Um, but when you put your finger on the trigger, so you, you know, you grab it through here, through here, however you want to grab it. But I like it better, like, like just a solid. And then I put the, the quick connect that put it down in the, down in the, the vacuum. Let's bring this baby up. So this is how it looks like. Bring you close to this. This is how it looks like. Very simple. What I did is I put a quick connect right here. You guys can see it. Quick connect. You're gonna have to get all these fittings. Hopefully, I could put it down in the description in the um, description in the bottom. And uh, we're gonna try it. I already tried it out. I already tried it out on my wife's car. But we're gonna try it out over here. Sorry for the whole shakiness thing. The only okay. So. To put this into this connection, right? Show you a trick. Let me go get. All right, guys. So you're gonna need you're gonna need this tool. It comes with the package, right? I'm gonna put you more in the back. It's easier for me. So you're gonna need this tool. I don't know what it's called, but it, it to, to to be. You could actually do like an extraction thing with this tool if you really wanted to. You know, you could put like, I guess like a little um, thing in the back. I think I, I seen a video that somebody else did it. But um, you're gonna need this tool and what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut it right here. See this one? I cut it, right? The only way this is gonna fit, because if you try um, heating this up to put it into this tool, it's not, it's not gonna go in. It's too big and then I saw that somebody went to Ace Hardware and bought a rubber um, that makes it smaller, then you could pinch in it. I haven't tried it, I'll probably do that, but the way that I did is I cut, so I cut this piece over here, right? Right here, you have to cut it here, you can't cut it closer, because if you see, like it becomes wider at the top. So that's where, it, that's where it's gonna um, seal it. I put the tape there, because it has a metal part here, you know, the metal of this. I didn't want to be grabbing it and then, you know, you know, you don't want to get cut or nothing. So I, just to avoid the cutness, you know, whatever the cut, if you get cut there, to avoid that. Oh my Lord. Scammers, man, they be calling. But check this out. See? So, right here, I got my cars on. Um, uh, Matt, I think this is, um, how old is this? This is like eight years old, this mat. I take care of my car. It looks like that because, you know, I haven't vacuum cleaned it for a while. But we're gonna, we're gonna clean that with this, right? 
I did put straps on it, and I put um, this kind of strap, the plastic ones, the zip ties. Guys, always remember to um, sand these down. Take a little sand, take a sandpaper, try to sand it down because you will get cut. I've been, I have gotten cut with this, you know, with these little pointy um, zip ties. Then I put these, this is my plan. I'm gonna get more of these zip, you know, they're not zip ties, they're um, Velcro, you know, and I'm gonna get some more of these and do it all the way down so it looks better. But yeah, it does work. So we're gonna try it out. First I gotta vacuum clean, I gotta vacuum that, I gotta vacuum it first. So hopefully, you know, you guys could um, see, well, do I need to vacuum? Maybe I'll vacuum it with the actual, with the actual, um, with this, with the vacuum. So I'm gonna bring you guys closer. See if we could do this. Hey guys, it's super hot. If you guys, so what we're gonna use, okay, if you guys have a, if you guys have a, a garage that's super hot, my advice to you is to get one of those, um, we call it the fart fans that they put in the bathroom and put it in your garage. I only have one and I turn it on. I usually leave it on like most of the day. I gotta put a timer on it, but get one of those fart fans that they have in the bathrooms that you turn on and it makes, you know, the vac is a, is a, I know you guys are not here for this, but I, this helps out. This, this is going to help you out a lot. If you're doing stuff in your garage, get the fart fan, put it in your garage. It's very simple. You make the hole, you put it up there, you put electricity towards it. And that takes so much heat from your garage it is incredible. Just one. I'm planning to get two more so I could get two. I bought it because I buy I um, smoke cigars in my garage. So, okay, but that works, guys. Do that. Um, so the only problem that I'm seeing that I'm having with this is this the connection. You see this? This is me trying to put it in here. It does not work. You're gonna have to do what I told you. Cut this right here, and then put it in the tube. You could get this in Amazon. I'm gonna try to put a, a link for this tool so you guys could get it. And a link for this hose. The only problem with this hose is the one that I got. Th this hose, because I do, um, I have a pressure washing company, and I use, I used to use this hose to do roofs. So I bought 250. I don't, I don't know if they sell them smaller, but anyways, you could check. And um, what else could you buy? All these fittings, these fittings are from low, from Ace. Let me get the, the receipt so you guys can see what I got. All right. So these are. Let me see if you guys can see that. So hopefully you could pause it and look for the exact, um, you know, these are the ones I got. Hopefully you guys could pause it. So that's this part. And you're going to need for the quick connect. You could get the quick connect there. So just that's some of the parts that I got. So the way we're going to do this, I got this interior cleaner, which I love. It smells awesome. I used it in my car. I use Bee Maker. That's awesome. One of the best products I've. I have um, Meguiar's. Um, what is it? Express Wax. I use that on on just regular cars or whatever. And um, but the Bee Maker is crazy. I use that on all my cars. It's the best. I bought like I bought one of these little ones. Anyways, let's get back to. That. I get I get I get extracted. Distracted. I mean, so here we got Meguiar's. What is it called? McGuire's interior cleaning. Yeah, I put the sticker on to make it the label so I can know what it is. But I use this for like rugs and stuff like that. You know, the rugs, the, the mats. This is just for the interior. I think they have something for the interior, which I might have to get to try because this company's knocking it out the park. Let me get what I have. Um, So we're gonna use this all-purpose cleaner from Meguiar's, old school, right here, baby. And we have Awesome, which I never hear people talk about Awesome. Awesome is 
one of the best products I've, I've ever tried right here. I'm telling you, this is, you know, this is not like for detailer material. Like, you know, you could use it for detailing, but this is not something like this that was made specifically for detailing. And this is safe in a whole bunch of, you know, plastics and vinyl and stuff. This right here is not even, this is not acid based or nothing. It works awesome. I use that when something is like stubborn and doesn't want to, you know, come out. So I'm gonna vacuum clean this with this, and then we're gonna do the whole extracting thing. I know you're not supposed to do vacuum with this or whatever, but I don't wanna plug in my other vacuum, which is the same brand, but we're gonna do it with this. Make it easier. Surfaces, no rhythm. Okay, I guess this is not for that, but we're gonna use this. Aguirre's all purpose cleaner. These bottles are crazy good. I don't know where people are sleeping on these bottles, but the Master Blasters, I don't know if people are sleeping on this. Come on, guys, wake up, smell the coffee. So, this is what we're gonna do. Let me see if I can bring you guys closer. All right. this du, 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 du. I hope you guys can see the BMW it's like a little bit brown I don't know I cleaned this I cleaned these um, rugs not long ago let's try it. So I did, I did clean these, um, let me see if I can back you guys up a little bit. So I did clean these like, um, maybe like two months ago. I cleaned them and I pressure washed it, but I didn't have the extractor, so I didn't do the extraction. See this? Yeah. All right. So let's start doing this so you guys can see it works. <laughs> That I noticed with this vacuum is that when it like hit the peak, like it usually does this like you know in the cars when you hit the gas and you hit the relay, boom, 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 you know that noise. This vacuum does the same thing. Let me get this stuff out. So this vacuum does the same thing. Like when it gets to like a peak, like it goes crazy on it. You will have to like play around with this, like to get like a a good shot so it won't squirt everywhere. See, like there is good. So it won't squirt everywhere. You're going to have to play around with this, push it side to side or whatever you got to do. So it'll work perfect. 
Let's do this again. for you guys to see the section about the Anyways, guys, this is the final product. I know it's black, you really can't tell if it's, can't really tell if it's dirty or not, but it is cleaner for sure. You know, the BMW sign right here, definitely looks more whiter, or whatever color it is. But anyways, guys, I hope you like this, you guys like this video. Take advantage of the special they got in that vacuum. It's uh, 14 gallons. Um, you can't do it with the regular one. Let me go get it for you guys. But this one, because this one holds what? What is it? Four gallons? You can't do it with that one because it only holds four gallons. You'll be, dump you'll be dumping that water all the time. It's freaking hot in here. Got to get an AC in here. But you'll be dumping the water too many times with that vacuum. So that 14 gallon one, you could probably do two, three cars with that and be straight. You know, you'll be good. Um, I think it's a real good deal. It was $100, 99 something, you know, 99.95 or whatever it was, but it's $100. It comes with a detail kit. Um, if you guys need more help to do this extraction deal, let me know, then I'll put up the table, we'll record it like close, and I'll let you know all the fittings, all the tools you need. But something that I don't like about it is with the nozzle where it sprays, it sprays out of. I'm gonna have to change that. I think they sell like one that you could put like pressure washing tips on it. Not the big ones, I mean the one you screw in, like the pro ones, not that, you know, those little plastic ones. But I think they sell like a, I could get a fitting where I could put it in there and, and make it spray maybe like a 15 degrees, I think it'll work good. Maybe 25, I gotta see. But yeah, if you guys wanna video with more you know, in depth with the the extraction um, vacuum that I built. I know there's other ones around there, but they have like too much stuff on it, like to connect the holes and all this stuff. They have too much crap going on, too many zip ties. This is very simple. When I'm done, I, it's connected to the water hose from the house. So there's an adapter. Anyways, if you guys wanna see more videos, if you guys want me to go more in depth in this, then you know, like, subscribe, and just put it in the comments, and I'll, I have another channel, which I do a lot of, you know, I help a lot of people with mechanics, doing, you know, stuff in the cars, and I have a e BMW E60, I got a E39, I got a Tacoma, which everybody loves videos about that, that truck, um, you know,
know, I have videos of bikes that I've had in my other channel, but um, if you guys want to get more in depth with stuff, like if you guys want to see every single, um, you know, fitting, every every little thing about that extraction, I just did this because this is one of the beginning videos of this channel. Um, it's for my detail business that I'm starting up again. If you lasted this long, be a little bit interested, but I've been doing this since I was 16 years old and I'm 40 years old right now, 40 years old. And um, I did have a business uh, detail um, shop. It was like a gas station in St. Petersburg. It was called Bay to Bay Window Tinting and Detailing way back in 2008, seven to eight. I had it for two years. Then it got, you know, it was in the hood. You know, so it got kind of crazy, so I had to shut it down. And window tinting, I've always done that. Um, I stopped, because I had other things in, in plan in life. And nothing, guys. I'm really cool, I'm down to earth. You guys can ask anything you guys want. Um, and nothing, stay tuned. We'll make more videos of the E60. We'll do a little bit. So we got an E39 that we're gonna start building, me and my son. It's my son's graduation, whatever. You know, he graduated, so he got that car. And we're gonna build it up, put some wheels, drop, and all that good stuff. You know, oh, I'm sorry, you're a detail. You're not supposed to have, you know, you're not supposed to have money to do nothing. You're supposed to live like a miserable person. Nah, not here. You know, you gotta charge what you have to charge so you can live a normal life. You know what I mean, people that are charging $30 to detail a, to detail a car, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but you must be a little bit miserable at least, you know. That's something that, you know, in my pressure washing company, like I see people calling and they be like, oh, I got somebody for 50 bucks. They go, they destroy their house and then they're calling back the next year saying, you know, the last guy did this. I'm like, yeah, well imagine, you know, charge with your worth. That's all I'm saying, all right? But anyways, guys, God bless and hopefully you like this video.